So this is looking very cool. Really like your the way you curl the paws. Just the feeling of the steps and everything. It's cool. I think the overall impression that I had was we make this just ever so slightly faster. That. What is this? It's about 10% faster and 15%. I think the only thing I would slow down with that is right there, that last step. So it's going to be complicated, basically 10 to 15% faster on everything. That step though, that move, you keep the way you have it. And then again, 10%, right? So. That gives you just the right weight. It's just right now it feels um, ever so slightly slow. Except that step. That makes sense, right? So from here to here, leave that timing. Then, so you're having questions. Well, the rest looks really good and your questions are spot on. So the back legs on the turn, what's weird about those is um, that step there. It's a tricky thing. Visually, you're moving this. The wrong frame. This guy, hold on, drawing tool, there you go. These two are turning in Y at the same time, pretty much, visually at least. So I know the back leg, you know, it's left leg, paw goes first, but you see right here, this feels like they're just kind of sliding, and that foot comes to a stop a bit too quickly. And by that foot, I mean the screen right one, this one. So what I would do is, you do all this, it's all correct. Then on that step, try to not, try to make that step this way, lead more, delay the hips, which will help you delay the turn on the other leg. Because as you go forward, see you got hips moving and you got the visuals of these guys moving to the right as well. Everything's moving kind of together versus that leg here goes first there's a little bit of up and a little bit of rotation uh, this way of the hips, you know? So you can feel the mechanics of, okay, they're raising, the hips raise a bit and go a bit this way because of the weight shift. And this leg is doing most of it. And the moment it's kind of setting its front part of the paw on it, you can start moving the hips. And then because of that, then you can start moving the back leg. That's kind of, to me, the biggest thing. It's just the, the movement in unison. And even stuff like this feels a bit weird where that part when you rotate in Y, because the thing is you also rotate, you know, when you got whatever I can't draw, so it's going to be probably massively uh, unhelpful. It's actually this way, right? <laughs> so your pivot point on that turn feels like it's here when you do your rotation in Y. Whereas, uh, put it here, front loaded. It's like imagine, um, you know, when people um, throw the cigarettes on the floor and they do kind of the toe, like, you know, they put the foot on the cigarette to kind of, you know, to press it out, to kind of extinguish, whatever you want to call this. And it's you're doing a toe rotation. And right now, this feels like a weird independent rotation on the leg. See this, like everything's kind of rotating from the, from the heel. And I would just probably start it a bit sooner because right now what's happening is that your knee really points this way and this really points this way. It gives this this cowboy look. So you can start earlier. So this is already more flat towards us and goes more back out this way earlier. And then just for complexity, you can make that turn while, you know, leave the toes on the floor, but then basically you lift up the heel. Um, a bit more, if that makes sense, right? So this will be on the floor, but you raise, you raise this. I don't know if I'm making any sense here. You should know the technical terms. There you go. So if you watch this, right? This is what you have, and then you're turning and you're pivoting off of here. Pivot off of here, pressure on the toes, and then as it turns, be in this pose. So it's a bit lifted. It's still pressured on the toes, the tips, but the back side goes up a bit in the air. So it's not just a flat turn. That's just the rotation wide. It feels too computery. And I'm talking during this screen right foot on this turn. So it's a bit more complex. 
That's cool, right? The rest is awesome. Not sure if that is too much. It feels a bit too much, but then again, this could also be in a reference and you can have a little sand puff or something as this, the toes and everything, the paw curls back. Maybe that's too much, but you know, just watching this right now, I feel like it could be too much, but maybe from the reference. It just feels, it feels animated. It feels like an extra rotation that's too exaggerated. I would personally tone this down 50%, even if that's in the reference. Um, and then you're not convinced about the head. You try to lead more with it, that's fine. But then when he walks and stops, I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing. So I like what you're doing with the head. My only concern is uh, the zombie look of it. And then there, there's a, an impact weight that's missing. So what I mean by this is this turn it's just overall slow, right? So if you go again 10%, it's going to help. It's too hard at the beginning. It's bit, there you go. That's already helping, right? Doing it a bit faster. So what's weird here is that your rotations in Y, they go like... That's how they feel. They don't feel like he's doing a turn, looks a bit, turns some more, looks a bit, looks, looks. You know, there's... It needs a bit more variety and complexity to make this more photo real. So this turn is a bit even. And it also feels very much in Y. Don't forget to also have a bit of Z rotation if needed, even like a little dip. So a bit of an X. It's a bit more complex in your rotations. This is the tricky thing. Now, you know, you don't see pupils, but even with darts and things and, you know, ear flutters, it just, this feels very, very slow and mechanical. So this would be one of those where it kind of looks, you know, could be kind of looks, wait a bit, look a bit more, wait a bit. And then on the turn like this, to not make this feel so detached, like I get your feeling of detaching and feeling too detached. What's going to help is uh, rotating the head. So eye line goes into this. Just move it over kind of clockwise like that so it's not just in Y. Like to me it feels like they're at the the angle of those eyes. Right? They're always like that. See, it's always horizontal. And that makes it very too clean, too computery, and too detached. While there's awesome stuff going in the chest and everything else, the head stays put. So even on something like this, when you have big steps and the scapulas move up and down, I'm looking at the nose. If I distract the nose, it feels so straight on. I see a little bit dip here. But imagine doing a step like that. You have a slight dip in X down with a little bit of rotation in Z. Just something co more complex. So the irregularities and the rotations through here is going to help that turn. And that's cool. Even here, when you go here to that, it feels your downward rotation it feels also very even. You can have like an ever so slight dip like this. This could be your curve just a little bit suddenly it dips down a bit faster or rotates down a bit faster right through this section especially through here this feels like it's an ik head going down so you need a bit more rotations and more nz and a bit of it downwards and then the other thing is boom on this i know they're very graceful and very subtle cats if they want to and they can but just to pump it up a bit on that impact here ba -ba -ba, right through there you want a bit of a sharper down in X so that the nose would be here. And maybe again, a little bit of a, a side, or maybe even in Y a bit. Like it'll just complexities of in all three axes on that impact. So it feels a bit more pow. And right now this feels soft, taking out the weight. You know, just on impact here, you can have a bit of a almost two frame, like a three frame sharp. Dip, like imagine the rotation down, like you rotating down and over three frames, right? Just go much faster and then you continue this, right? So you will feel that little impact through here because it suddenly accelerates, but you wouldn't actually, that's not true, you wouldn't stop here, you would go more like that. It's a sudden drop, but then the recovery is slow, which gives what you have here this majestic feel and this nice controlled look of that, right? Also, what's going to help you a bit selling the impact this is going to be later on. Like as you go like this, close the mouth 50% more. Boom! And on that impact, open that mouth. Same thing here over two or three frames. Open. So it's basically your jaw rotation goes boom and then recover like that, right? But you want a sudden dip. And the thing is, what's going to help um, sell 
realism in this is like you know like if it's you, people usually do big if it's big it has to move slower so yes and no big pieces chest and hips and to a certain degree the head the more mass the slower the recovery right if you go somewhere it's going to take much longer to change direction that's going to show you weight if you have big mass that just only stops and changes direction quickly that's not a good idea to uh, portray weight but small things like ears and jaws they will impact quickly and that will give you the the photorealism of of smaller things reacting and moving quickly it's like if you have animation then you put cloths in on there and if someone you know makes quick moves or direction changes or hair or whatever you get that the difference between slow moving parts and fast moving parts so it, so everything is not slow because then you get that weird swimmy slow feel Boom. So on that, on that impact, you would have a little bit in the jaw and a little bit in the, what's the word? Ears. All right. That's it. That's it for me. Great job, though. It's a great update. The update. Uh, I haven't seen this for a while, so um, I'm just calling this an update. It looks great. All righty. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.